Parani Subramaniam Pillai, 1908-1962, was a well-known Carnatic music percussionist. He was adept in playing the Mridangam and Ganjira. He was the Sishya, disciple of the celebrated Parani Muthiya Pillai, his father. Early life, Subramaniam Pillai was born on April 20, 1908. He was born to his mother Unnamale Amal and his father Muthiya Pillai was also a Mridangist. He learned Mridangam under the tutelage of his father and also had the friendship of Tavir Panchami Malikottai Panchavi Kesa Pillai. He was also influenced by renowned Mridangist at that time Dakshinamurti Pillai. Pillai in return showered great love and affection on Eng Parani whom he looked upon as his own son. Before he turned 20, Parani had the good fortune to accompany stalwarts like Kanji Param Nayana Pillai, Maravarayanandar Subraya Bhagavadar and Mudikantan Vengatramaya. In the next decade, others who preferred his accompaniment were Chitur Subramanya Pillai and importantly, Alatur brothers whose guru, father of Alatur Subayar, Alatur Venkateshayar was a great admirer of Parani. It was because of Parani that the brothers shifted base from Trichy to Madras and they made a great team. Palani is credited with composing a large number of major Pallavis for the brothers, including the tempo and Narai variations. Carrier as Parani's playing in the early part of his career was robust and laya oriented with extensive calculations, many vocalists of the time did not feel comfortable with him except for the few mentioned earlier. It was one of the most popular among the doings of his careers. Chambai Vaidhyanada Bhagavadar, earlier responsible in advancing the careers of Mysore T. Chaudayan Palgat Maniyar, who took to promoting Parani. There were numerous concerts in which he gave Parani opportunities to play three or four tanis or solos in his concert. It is said that in a concert in Shandagarananda Hall, Mumbai, he asked Parani to play in each of the five nadais Chatusram, Tisram, Misram, Kandam and Sangirnam. It was he who also persuaded Parani to tone down on the laya intricacies and increase the saukya or aesthetic content in his playing. Parini, probably with considerable regret in having to shed his specialization and scholarship abided by his mental suggestion not only because of the practicality but also because of his great respect for Chambai who was his elder by several years. Bhagavatar's advice stood Parini in good stead. Eminently popular with Vans G. N. Balasubramaniam, Madhare Maniyayar, Chambaguri Srinivas Ayer clamored to have him accompany him in their concerts. Of course, senior with dons of the era like Aryakudi Ramana Jayangar, Maharaja Baram Vishwanath Ayer, Chambai and Dwaram Venkata Swami Naidu while in solo had him as accompanist in many concerts. In turn, Paini encouraged a number of younger vocal and instrumental artists including Dr. M. Balamurli Krishna, Ramnath Krishna, M. D. Ramanathan, K. V. Narayan Swami, Thiruvaru Namashivayam, Tanjavur Tyagarajan, Lalgudi Jairaman, and Palkat Raghu. While playing for younger artists, he was never condescending but was also supportive and never tried to show off or intimidate. In fact, although he possessed talents of gigantic proportions, he never indulged in exhibitionism and his only aim was to enhance the total appeal of the concert. Mother Maniyayar used to call him Thyagi, one who would efface himself so that the overall effect was sparkling, rather focus on himself. While Parani would highlight the different parts of the song, such as Edipus of Pallavi, Anupallavi and Charanam with sufficient emphasis, he would rather follow the mood and trend of the song, rather play the prayogas of the song themselves. This mode of playing gave a wholesomeness to the song renderings rather than the starts and stops that would otherwise have arisen. His Sarva Lagu was the spontaneous flow of Narai, Sulus and Sulukatos rather than any patternized formats. The Sarva Lagu used to be amorphous rather than crystalline. Occasionally when certain arithmetic combinations arose, they too were spontaneous and blended seamlessly into the scheme of things. He specialized in Vallinam and Mellinam strokes in each of the smallest passages. In layman's language, these are hard and soft strokes. His playing gave the effect of his indulging in a music conversation with the main artist throughout the tenure of the concert. 
In his solo interludes, the Tanya Avritanums, he displayed both intellectual and aesthetic aspects in equal measure, which pleased all sections of the audience, but he never played to the gallery. The vocalist had to remain very alert during the Tanya's to ensure that he did not miss out on the Thala, such were the complex patterns he played. When Paini was present in a gathering, there was no levity or frivolousness exhibited. According to Vidwans, who shared the platform with him in concerts, both his demeanor and playing was the epitome of Gauravam dignity. His lifestyle in the 40s and 50s was the envy of other musicians. Always dressed in white muslin shirts and snow white khadi dhoti, carefully and painstakingly groomed, he was amongst the handsomest among musicians, others being GNB and Mayavaram Vyar Govindaraja Pillai. Unlike many other musicians, he lived in a spacious bungalow and owned the latest model in cars, which changed them every two years. He himself drove the car and did not allow anyone else to drive this car. Paini's partner in life was Raja Mar, who along with her sister constituted a popular singing duo called Kolar Sisters in her younger days. The pair had a daughter named Vimala, she married Srinivasan and they had five daughters named Banu, Malati, Meera, Geeta and Vasanti. They were brought up by Raja Mar after the death of Srinivasan. At any given time at least three or four students resided in Paini's house undergoing Gurukula system with passage of time, there were day scholars too. Among the earliest disciples of Paini were T. Ranganathan, brother of T. Bala Saraswati, along with Ramanathapuram M. N. Kandaswami, Puvalu Venkatraman, Dhandamadi Ram Mohanrao, Palathur C. T. Lakshmanan, Udumalai T. Mayal Swami, T. S. Janakiraman, amongst others. The most famous of his disciple is Strachi Shankaran, who lives in Toronto, Canada, and teaches in York City as a professor in the music department. Paini took him under his wings when he was a child. Even at the tender of twelve, Paini enabled him to play with him double mridangam and concerts of Ariyakudi, GNB, Mudramaniyar, and others. Among his late disciples were Erod Gururajan, Madhuri Mangalam Swaminathan, K. S. Kalidas, Kadappa Krishnamurti, A.V. Raghu Prasad, T.V. Gurumurthy and many others. In turn, his disciples have trained many others and the Pioneer School is now well represented in India and abroad. The founder of the Pudukkote School of Percussion, Mam Punti Apillai, introduced Kanjira as an instrument in concerts. His disciples Dakshana Murthy Pillai and Muthi Apillai would play a large number of instruments like Mridangam Ganjira, Thavil and Kadam. In their steps, Paini was also a great Ganjira Vidwan. Besides being a master of Mridangam, he, was, he has played with Vidwans like Palkat Maniyar and Ramanath Varam C.S. Murugabhupati. His Ganjira performances were fewer compared to Mridangam and listeners thronged to these concerts whenever they occurred. Compared to the double-headed Mridangam with its rich tonal quality, the single-headed Ganjira with its limited tonal quality is more difficult to handle, but Paini equal or even excelled in duets with the best Mridangis. Some of Paini's disciples have emerged as Vidwans, proficient with both instruments, among them Amin Kanda Swami and Palathur Lakshmana. At the behest of his father, Paini erected a shrine on the Samadhi of Mampundi Apillai at Pudukkote in 1945. Till he died in 1962, Paini performed Guru Buja each year at this Samadhi on Mampundiya's place death anniversary. This is the day preceding of the Aradhana of Saint Tyagaraja with falls on Bakula Panchami day. After Paini's death, his disciples took this over and also initiated the Guru Buja for Paini across different places in Tamil Nadu, M. N. Kandaswami in Chennai, Udumalaiti, Mayal Swami in Coimbatore, etc. In Kerala, Paini's disciples are Maveli Kara, Krishna Kutinayar and Maveli Karaisa Raju. Paini always scanned his disciples like his own children and had a special care for Krishnan Kuti Nair. Let's now listen to Paini's one of his outstanding solo. <laughs>
ಪಾ 